Magna Carta went on to change the world, Prime Minister David Cameron has said at an event marking the 800th anniversary of the document that heralded modern democracy. He was speaking at a ceremony at Runnymede in Surrey, close to the River Thames, where King John of England sealed the original document in 1215. The Charter first protected the rights and freedoms of society and established the King was subject to the law. The Queen also attended the ceremony. Mr. Cameron told the audience Magna Carta would alter forever the balance of power between the governed and the government. And he said the document had inspired different generations and countries across the world. He said, why do people set such store by Magna Carta? Because they look to history. They see how the Great Charter shaped the world, for the best part of a millennium, helping to promote arguments for justice and for freedom. Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby said the document set the bar high for all of us today. Earlier, the Duke of Cambridge was shown a new art installation commissioned for the anniversary. The work, called The Jurors, is inspired by the 39th clause of Magna Carta, which gives the right to a jury trial. Artist Hugh Locke said it was a great honor to be chosen to produce the piece. There will also be a rededication of the American Bar Association's Magna Carta Memorial. A replica of the Great Charter began its journey down the Thames on Saturday as part of the commemorations. The Royal Barge Gloriana has led 200 boats from Hurley in Berkshire and is due to arrive at Runnymede on Monday. There are just four known copies of the original Magna Carta in existence today, from an estimated 13 that were made. Two are held by the British Library, with Salisbury Cathedral and Lincoln Cathedral holding the others. Magna Carta originated in 1215 as a peace treaty between King John and a group of rebellious barons. The original document was written in Latin on parchment made from animal skin. The name didn't emerge until the document's reissue in 1217. It became known as the Great Charter to differentiate it from the smaller charter of the forest issued at the same time.